We're talking today with uh, Dr. Alberto Fore, who's professor of political science at San Andres University in Buenos Aires, Argentina. We spoke with him a few months ago about the uh, Argentine presidential elections, which are to be held in October at the end of 2015. So we're, we're back talking to Professor Fore. Let's talk a little bit about the presidential elections. Um, who are the principal candidates and what are their political parties and central tendencies? There are uh, three main candidates uh, now uh, ahead in the polls. They are pretty much tied, even though there are uh, initial, initial signs that there will be some sort of polarization between two of them. The three candidates are um, Sergio Massa from a party called Frente Renovador, who is a, a faction of the Peronist party. The second is Daniel Scioli, who is the governor of the province of Buenos Aires, the man, main province in Argentina, who was vice president of President Kirchner, so he's the main official candidate representing the government. And the third uh, candidate is the mayor of Buenos Aires called Mauricio Macri, who is presently ahead in the polls uh, but, you know, six months in advance, you never know who's going to win. Right. The fact is that the three of them uh, are the, the main contenders and uh, they represent uh, clearly a shift in ideological terms from what has been uh, the main uh, line and strategy pursued by the president, uh, Cristina Kirchner. Do you consider that um, Scioli, the uh, governor of Buenos Aires province, is the continuation of Mrs. Kirchner's movement, or is he more moderate than she is? She, um, he is clearly m more moderate. He, he, he is more leaning towards center-right politics, whereas the president, uh, Cristina Kirchner, is more leaning to center-left politics, right. even though they... Uh, live together under the same uh, the same roof in the Peronist party. Uh, so what we will probably see if he wins is a significant, significant shift from uh, populist left-wing politics towards populist right-wing politics. Okay, and in economic terms, in terms of economic policy, what does that shift mean, for example, for investors or the international market? What kinds of change can we anticipate? I would uh, anticipate that the three of them uh, embody a, a, fr a market-friendly approach in which foreign investors are uh, probably going to be able to make uh, significant investments in Argentina, particularly uh, those linked to productive um, uh, projects. Um, all of them have indicated that they are looking for foreign investment to pursue uh, actively foreign investment for the Argentine economy. Uh, so uh, we will probably see uh, a significant shift in, in economic policy over the next 10 years. Great. So you think that it will mean officially recognizing the, um, the level of inflation, change in exchange rate laws, and even perhaps settlement with the uh, bond hold holdouts uh, that is causing so much difficulty for Argentina. The three the three aspects that you mentioned uh, will I agree with the three of them. Very good. Thank you very much. We've been talking to Professor Alberto Forig of the University of San Andres in Buenos Aires. We'll come back and visit again, Alberto. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Joe.